Are you noticing more than normal hair on your pillow or hairbrush? Are you worried about hair loss? Then this video is for you. You may not always need to worry about hair fall, as in reality, you may just be shedding more hair than normal. So you may ask, what is the difference? It is normal to shed between 50 and 100 hair a day. When the body sheds significantly more hair every day, a person has excessive hair shedding or hair fall. Excessive hair shedding is common in people who are under stress due to one or more reasons. Women tend to lose more hair strands per day than men and women are also more likely than men to experience periods of increased hair shedding due to life events like pregnancy and menopause. Hair loss occurs when something stops the hair from growing again. And the most common causes of hair loss include heredity, immune system overreacts, some drugs and treatments, hairstyles that pull on the hair, harsh hair care products, and nutritional deficiency. Excessive washing, bleaching, brushing, and heat styling can also have an impact on how much of your hair falls out every day. Once your hair follicles has been stretched or split as a result of a cosmetic hair treatment, the structure of the hair follicle is compromised. Now I will tell you about some nutrients that help fight hair loss and promote hair growth. So let's start with the first nutrient, iron. According to a study done in 2013, there is a relation between iron deficiency anemia and hair loss. It was seen that male pattern hair loss and female pattern hair loss patients usually had iron deficiency. Iron helps your body produce hemoglobin, which is a protein in your red blood cells. It carries oxygen to your body cells, helping them grow and repair. And this includes your body cell that help with hair growth. So hair loss due to iron deficiency may especially be noticed in menstruating women who may not get sufficient iron from diet, vegetarians or vegans, people who exercise heavily, food Rich in iron include spinach and all kinds of green, broccoli, peas, tofu, fish and iron rich meats like beef and lamb. Remember, always talk to your doctor before taking iron supplements as too much can cause vomiting and constipation and very high doses can even be fatal. So always talk to your doctor. Next is biotin. Its primary role is to help turn the food you eat into energy. Your body also needs it to produce keratin. Keratin is a protein that makes up your hair, skin and nails. Although rare, biotin deficiency can cause skin rashes, brittle nails as well as hair thinning and loss of hair. Some of the best source of biotin includes eggs, wheat germ, salmon, mushroom, sunflower seeds, sweet potato, almonds and beef liver. Eggs are a good source of biotin. But you should avoid consuming them raw. Raw egg whites contain evidin, which is a type of sugar protein. It tightly binds biotin and prevents your body from absorbing it. Cooking destroys evidin and then biotin is available for your body to absorb. So always cook the egg before consuming it. In addition to food, the bacteria in your intestines can also make biotin. Biotin supplements are generally unnecessary unless you have a biotin deficiency or a risk factor. Most at risk for a biotin deficiency include those with chronic alcohol use since alcohol inhibits biotin absorption, malnutrition, inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Next is biotinidase deficiency which is a genetic disorder. Biotin taken as a dietary supplement is relatively safe. However, an overdose of biotin may cause insomnia, excessive thirst and urination. Some anti-epileptic drugs can also lower biotin levels. Next nutrient is zinc. Zinc is a trace element yet it is essential for a lot of biochemical processes including cell reproduction, production and maintenance of hormone levels, protein synthesis and absorption of vitamins and other minerals. Zinc inhibits the formation of steroids associated with male pattern baldness. It also plays an integral role in building and repairing hair tissues. 
but be cautious that a high level of zinc can have a reverse effect and it may lead to hair thinning and hair loss an average adult male requires up to 11 mg of zinc daily while a female adult needs to take 8 mg of zinc every day a few natural sources of zinc include seafood such as prawns crabs and lobster oysters red meat and poultry pumpkin seeds chickpeas cashew almond egg yolk and dairy and soy products next nutrient is selenium selenium is a mineral and an antioxidant that helps body fight certain diseases it also promotes healthy hair growth some enzymes in body help remove free radicals and for this role many such enzymes depend on selenium the free radicals are very harmful to the healthy growth of hair and skin cells of the body since they play a major factor in premature aging and they also weaken hair follicles so selenium works for healthy hair growth by killing these free radicals and the foods that are rich in selenium include whole grain nuts garlic liver tuna eggs beans oatmeal and spinach but be warned that too much selenium can lead to toxicity next is melatonin Now melatonin is not a nutrient it is rather a hormone which is secreted by pineal gland and you may know melatonin as the sleep hormone a cream with melatonin can also boost hair growth or it can slow down hair loss next nutrient on the list are amino acids these are the building blocks for proteins and they help your body work the way it should Some amino acids such as cysteine and L-lysine play a special role in keeping your hair healthy and growing and good food sources include cottage cheese, fish, eggs, seeds and nuts, whole grains and meat. Next on the list is silica or silicon dioxide. Silica is a natural trace mineral. It is found naturally in many plants such as leafy greens and whole grains. it is also available as a supplement or extract while it may not be useful in reversing hair loss it is useful in strengthening hair and thus it prevents hair breakage according to a research done in 2016 it's been found to deliver essential nutrients to your scalp and hair follicles silica supplements commonly come from bamboo or the horse tail plant you can also use dried herbs to make a tea for silica next on the list is sulfur sulfur is one of the most abundant minerals present in human body our hair is made up of a protein called keratin as we have already discussed and this protein contains sulfur in the form of two amino acids that are called methionine and cysteine so sulfur helps promote better hair strength and elasticity so rich source of sulfur includes coffee tea milk tomatoes leafy green vegetables apples raspberry and whole grains but be cautious excessive use of sulfur as topical application can cause skin irritation and it can result in dry skin dry hair and skin conditions like eczema so that's all for now I will see you soon with another video on some easy to prepare home recipes to promote hair growth and prevent hair fall. Thank you.